So today under exercise 5.3, let us continue the remaining questions here. So under that fourth question is, how many terms of an AP that is given arithmetic progression 9, 17, 25 must be taken to give a sum of 636 here. So according to the question, A value is given 9 here. So D equals to 17 minus 9 that is 8. And sum they have given, that is sum of the given arithmetic progression is 636. That means Sn equals to 636 they have given. So how many terms, that is we don't know what is the value of N here. So here we have to find out N. So from the given question, only possibility is you have to use the formula for sum of N terms of a given AP. Sn equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So since sn is given that is 636 equals to we have to find out n here. n by 2 into 2 into 9 plus n minus 1 as it is into d is 8 here. So let me simplify n by 2 18 plus 8 into n 18 minus 1 into 8 minus 8 so if i simplify n by 2 18 minus 8 is 10 plus 8 n is there so let me just uh, take a common term here since n by 2 as it is 636 will remain same into if i take 2 as a common here remain with 5 plus 4 n so that i can cancel 2 and 2 here so that what will be remaining? 636 equals to n into 5 plus 4n. So let me multiply. n into 5 is 5n plus 4n into n is 4n square. 636. This is like a quadratic equation we have got. It is like if I rearrange 4n square plus 5n minus 636 equals to 0 here. So here if I see first term and last term if I multiply 4 into 636 means I will get 2000 minus 2544 I will get. So 2544 means we have to find the factors so that uh, in the middle I have to get it as 5 as the answer. So 2544 means you already know how to find the factors. So just find the factors if I divide it by 2. So, 1, 2, 7, 2, I will get. Similarly, if I divide again with the uh, 2 here, 6, 36. So, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 8. Za. So, further you can simplify with the uh, 2 here. 159 you will get. Again, that is by 3, 53 you will get here. So, if I multiply all this, again, 53 is not divisible by any number here. If I multiply all these three uh, numbers means I will get it as 48. So, 48 into 53 you will get it as 2544 here. So, 48 into 3. If I subtract 53 and 48, I will get 5n here. So, that uh, the simplification I can do is 4n square plus 53n minus 48n because positive 5n is there. So minus 636 equals to 0. If I see the first two terms, I can only take n as a common here. 4n plus 53. So second factor also I have to get 4n. If I want to get 4n, just let me divide it by 4 here. If I divide, I will get 12 as the answer. 48 by 4 means 12. So, if I take 12 common, then I can remain with 4 here inside that. So, that is why minus 12. If I take minus 12 common, here it will remain 4n plus 53. So, factors are n minus 12 and 4n plus 53 here. So, 1 is n equals to 12. And another one is n equals to minus 53 by 4. As you already know, n value will won't be any negative. It will be always a natural number. So what is the value of n here? How many numbers, how many terms will be there? So that sum you will get 636. The totally it will be 12 terms.